In this video, I'm going to show you how to crochet the Black Panther. Wakanda forever. For all of my Amigurumi crochet projects, I use a four millimeter G hook. You're also going to need a yarn needle, some scissors, and two colors. One will be black and one will be gray. Uh, black is the hardest um, color to actually crochet with, so it's going to be kind of difficult to see. So I've actually gone with a dark gray color here just to make it a little bit easier for the video. Let's get started. So we're first going to be starting with uh, the leg of Black Panther. Now obviously he has two legs, but um, here we're going to be starting with the first one. Uh, let's start with the color black and then do a magic ring of 10 or a magic circle 10, uh, which is basically just 10 single crochets into a magic ring. Uh, for round two, uh, we're going to be using a single crochet of 10, but in the back loops only. Um, I like to leave the magic ring a little bit loose here, so, so it's a little bit easier to get into those uh, stitches for the second round. Um, and then you'll see me, I'll come through and I'll tighten up the, um, uh, the stitches afterwards. I'll tighten up that ring afterwards. Here I am tightening it up and then uh, we'll kind of cut off that uh, loose end there. So for rounds three and four, just single crochet 10. And just keep in mind that black yarn is literally one of the most difficult yarn colors. If not, no, it is the most difficult yarn color to crochet in just because it's very difficult to see. So always double check and make sure that you have the correct number of stitches and you're not doing too many or too little stitches because sometimes you can accidentally, um, you know, put a crochet in this in one of the stitches. Now, I actually am using a, a gray color. You can't even really tell, but it's a dark gray color. Um, it's a little bit lighter than the black, but um, still pretty difficult to see here. All right, so let's change colors to gray, and then for round five, we're gonna be doing a single crochet of 10. Uh, just for the sake of the video, I am uh, doing a quick change with the um, the colors, uh, uh, so, so there will be a little bit of a, um, a step in the color change here uh, when you're completed if you do it the same way that I do. Uh, if you don't want that step, if you want a seamless uh, kind of transition of the colors, um, then you can just tie off one color and then start a new one on top of it and it's a little bit more more seamless. But uh, this, this pattern is going to require quite a bit of color work so um, if you don't mind there being the you know the, the step change, um, it, uh, it's going to make your life a lot easier. <laughs> So for the uh, last round in the first foot, uh, we're gonna go ahead and single crochet 10 in the color black. Um, here I am tightening up the loose ends. Again, I, you know, I really don't like, I don't know anybody who likes to um, tie in loose ends here. So uh, I just kind of knot them in the back. Um, I, I knot the two, two yarn ends together. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and tie off this leg and just kind of set that off to the side here. Uh, and then we're gonna make our second leg, which is basically the exact same thing as the first leg. I'll speed this up here. So afterwards, we're gonna be attaching the two legs to each other. So when we attach the two legs to each other, um, it's basically just single crocheting from one leg to the next leg. And we'll be going into the first stitch here. So I'm gonna crochet right into that first stitch. Uh, each leg has 10 uh, single crochets in it. So you wanna make sure you end up with 20. So a good way to do it is just count one leg at a time. Uh, so here I'm just counting out 10 single crochets here. And then we're gonna count another 10 single crochets when we go around the other leg here. So we're gonna count another 10 just to make sure that we end up with the 20 total stitches. All right, for round eight, we're gonna single crochet four and then increase and do that four times. Now here I've placed my, uh, if you're wondering what that pink yarn is in the back, that's my stitch counter. Uh, I prefer using yarn over um, 
uh, regular stitch counters. Uh, it's just a little bit faster for me, but you're welcome to use whatever um, you know is more convenient for you. So there's my stitch marker there. All right, so now you get, you're actually gonna have a little hole in between those two legs here, and uh, I always like to sew up that that hole closed. Uh, so here I am, just kind of sewing the the hole closed a little bit, just with the loose yarn end from the first foot. Uh, that's what you'll sew. Uh, for this next part, uh, again, and for the rest of the actual um, project here, we're gonna be doing quite a bit of color work. Uh, I'm gonna shade the black. Uh, color for the black yarn and then gray color for the gray yarn. So the stitch will be in that corresponding color here. So we're going to go into our next uh, round here. Um, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So in round nine, uh, you'll see here that the first three stitches will be in black. The next six single crochets will be in gray. The next five in black and the next single crochets in uh, six in gray, and then the last four single crochets in black. Um, now again, you, you are gonna be having a quite a bit of loose ends here. Uh, it's gonna be even a lot worse when we get up towards that head there. Um, uh, black Panther is pretty complicated. He's got all those, um, uh, you know, those gray stripes there. And, and you can actually, you know, you can actually do it in purple too as well if you wanna create a different effect. Or, you know, if you wanna get Killmonger, then you can, you know, change that to gold if you wanted to. So um, it's really uh, up to you. You can change the colors if you want to. I ended up going with the traditional gray here though. Uh, so when we're done with that round, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna knot uh, every single one of those um, uh, loose yarn ends. And uh, when I do knot these loose yarn ends, um, I do like to leave the end a little bit long. Uh, I find that if you kind of cut it too short, um, you accidentally pull them through. Hi, I'm Michael from Knot Monster. I hope you're enjoying this video. If you are, please take the time to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you can be the first to see my new videos and new content. If you want to learn more about crochet or you want to see more patterns, I have an Etsy store. Check it out. It's knotmonster.etsy.com or if you want a paperback version, I do have books on Amazon. I've got books such as my Pink Edition book, my balloon animal book, and my Not Monsters Potted Plant book. Those are all available paperback copies at Amazon. Just search Not Monsters in the search bar. Anyways, let's get back to the crochet.
So now we're moving on to the um, to the head. So go ahead and stuff now. Uh, what I like to do is I like to use a small amount of stuffing for the legs just to make sure they're evenly stuffed first. Uh, then I'll go through and I'll, I'll make sure the rest of it is stuffed here. Now I do use polyfill. Um, you're welcome to use any kind of polyester stuffing that you want. I just find that polyfill uh, tends to have a little bit less memory than the other uh, brands. Um, I do like it with less memory because it kind of expands into the actual um, like basically every single nook and cranny there so uh, again polyfill for the stuffing here but you're welcome to use any kind of stuffing that you want to
So now we're on our last row here, or second to last row before we're done with the head. Uh, I do like to stuff pretty late here, as stuff as late as possible. Um, here I'm stuffing the head just to make sure everything is nice and even. Uh, after I stuff the head, uh, we're gonna tie off the entire torso here. Um, first we're going to uh, decrease um, six times uh, to end up with the final stitch count, which will be six. Um, in order to close that hole, I like to use a yarn needle. Uh, you'll kind of thread that yarn needle through the outer back loops around each of those six stitches. Uh, then go ahead and pull tightly on that needle. It will close the hole. Uh, and then you go ahead and send that needle straight through that hole on the top of the head. And then uh, just kind of tie it off somewhere on the side. So I like to go through a couple stitches later. So again, here I am. Uh, going through those outer back loops here. And then going through a couple stitches here just to uh, stabilize the actual um, that loose end. All right, just kind of molding the head to make sure that uh, Black Panther looks like Black Panther. And now we're going to work on Black Panther's arms. So for his arms, start with the color black. We're going to magic ring eight. For his second arm, uh, you're basically just going to do the exact same thing that you just did um, and form that second arm. So Black Panther does have little ears at the top there. Uh, we're going to be making two of them. Uh, no need to stuff these ears or anything. Um, they're pretty easy to make. Uh, just do a magic ring of four. We're going to increase four times to end up with eight stitches. Uh, go ahead and single crochet all the way around that uh, for eight stitches. And then just tie it off. Um, and then afterwards we'll be attaching everything.
thank you guys so much for uh, making Black Panther with me today. Um, I hope you guys had a great time, and then I hope uh, your little Black Panther finds a um, finds a nice home. Uh, if you like the video, please feel free to uh, like it, subscribe, so you can be the first to kind of hear about all my new videos here, um, and leave a comment too as well. Uh, you can also find me on Instagram at not monster uh, i'd love to see your creation so be sure to tag me all right we'll see you guys in the next video happy crocheting <laughs>